Hey, what's going on everybody? Miles Berghoff here, professional bass angler, and behind me, you see my office, also known as a bass boat. Six years ago, I, I changed from traditional lead acid and AGM batteries to a brand new Battleborn lithium battery system. And lithium is great for bass boats and it, it has a ton of different benefits. So in this series, we're gonna talk about some of the frequently asked questions about Battleborn lithium batteries. Let's get to it. So how does your bass boat power system work? So essentially you've got three different systems at work in your bass boat. You've got a trolling motor system, an auxiliary system, and then a starting battery system. Uh, essentially the auxiliary is what's going to be powering all of your electronics, your pumps, and your lights on your boat, and everything else that, that you know, maybe a radio that you've got in your bass boat. Uh, that's gonna be with the auxiliary power system. Then you have the cranking or starting battery system, which essentially is going to start your engine and also operate the trim features um, on that engine. And then finally, you've got your trolling motor system that is isolated just for the trolling motor, which is either a 12, 24, or 36 volts power system. So you're gonna have one, two, or three 12 volt deep cycle batteries rigged in series for that isolated system. What type of batteries do you need for your bass boat? All of the power systems in your bass boat require 12 volt power. For the auxiliary and the cranking system, you need 12 volts that, that are suitable enough to be able to crank your engine, okay? And oftentimes with the auxiliary power and the, the cranking system, they're combined in one battery, but a lot of times they're in two separate batteries that are rigged in parallel. But for the trolling motor system, you need to have deep cycle batteries, 12 volt batteries. In my boat, I've got all Battleborn lithium batteries for my trolling motor system. And you need either one battery for 12 volt, two for 24 volt, or three for 36. So what amp hour rating should you choose for your trolling motor battery system on your bass boat? So essentially, Amp hour rating is directly related with how long your batteries are gonna last throughout the day. And when it comes to choosing the right amp hour rating, I really put it in this perspective. You know, if you're fishing a small stagnant pond that, that is very small, you don't have to, to move, use the trolling motor to, to get around a large area, or there's not a lot of vegetation or not a lot of current or wind current, then in that case, you could get away with a smaller amp hour rating. So like 50 or 75. But for most bass boat applications, especially if you're tournament fishing, going to to large bodies of water, it's really necessary to have a higher amp hour rating uh, like the 100 amp hour batteries that I have in my trolling motor system. So for that situation, you can use it for big water, high current, high wind, and lots of vegetation and not have any worries about having power throughout the day. So how long will your Battleborn lithium batteries last? So to me, I interpret this question in two different ways. As far as like the day-to-day -day use, how long you're gonna have power throughout a fishing day, uh, that really depends on a multitude of factors. You know, amp hour rating, the type of con conditions that you're fishing in, those all definitely play a role. Now, this is anecdotal, but for the last six years, I've been running my battle-worn batteries as hard as possible. You know, I tournament fish all around the country, big lakes, high current, high wind, lots of vegetation. I've never had my battle-worn batteries run out of juice throughout a fishing day. Now, the, the other question uh, that's related to this is how long the batteries will last in their lifetime. So you can be rest assured that Battleborn batteries are gonna last at least 10 years because they're guaranteed for 10 years with a rock solid warranty. But it, put it in another way, you can have three to 5,000 cycles, so charging from 0% to 100% without any issue with these batteries. So can your Battleborn batteries get wet? The short answer is yes. Uh, Battleborn batteries are completely sealed. Uh, they have a uh, IP65 water resistant rating, which means that uh, you, can, you can get them wet, but it's never a good idea to completely submerge your batteries. Mm -hmm. 
So can you use a Battleborn battery as your cranking battery? The short answer is no. Uh, Engine manufacturers and Battleborn batteries do not recommend that you use these lithium batteries for cranking applications, and they could potentially void the warranty of your engine and the battery itself. So are lithium batteries more expensive? The short answer is yes. If you're just looking at the introductory price, they are more expensive. But if you look at the lifetime of the batteries, they are way more cost effective because uh, if you look at lead acid and AGM batteries, they're usually guaranteed for one to three years. They have a much shorter lifespan. But if you look at Battleborn lithium batteries, you're looking at 10 years guaranteed backed by their warranty. These batteries can last longer than that 10 year warranty period too, because they can go between three and 5,000 charging cycles. And that means that the Battleborn batteries are much more cost effective over the years that you're gonna use them. So why should you upgrade to lithium power in your bass boat? And to me, the answer is, is tenfold. You got a lot of different things that, that uh, lithium power brings to the table. Number one, uh, lithium batteries are way lighter than traditional lead acid and AGM batteries, which re reduces the amount of weight that you have in your bass boat, which is great. Um, they're more consistent power. So the power that you're gonna see from these batteries at the end of the day, fighting against current, going through grass flats, maybe there's lots of wind, it's going to be the same amount of power that you see at the beginning of the day when you put that trolling motor in for the first time. Also, they're more durable. They have a lower cost of ownership across the age of the, the battery. And also, they're just more consistent, reliable, and, and durable batteries for your system. So are Battleborn lithium batteries worth it for your bass boat system? To me, the answer is absolutely, because Battleborn batteries exceed pretty much every metric compared to lead acid and AGM batteries, and they have less cost over the length of the battery's life, and also you're gonna experience less stress dealing with the system. Are Battleborn batteries a reliable choice for your bass boat? The answer is absolutely. They are, they are extremely durable, they're low maintenance, and they also have a 10-year warranty. Are Battleborn batteries durable? And the answer is absolutely. They, they can handle pretty much all the extreme vibration that you're gonna see trailering your boat and also on the water, and they can handle the extreme marine environment with the IP65 water resistant rating. So can Battleborn batteries be used in your bass boat? And absolutely. Battleborn batteries are ideal for trolling motor systems and also auxiliary power. But just to be safe, call Battleborn Technical Specialist to make sure that your charging system is compatible with lithium batteries. So how many Battleborn batteries do you need for your bass boat? So that really depends on the trolling motor system that you have. So if you have a 12 volt system, all you need is one battery. But if you have a 24 volt system, you need two batteries rigged in series, as well as the 36 volt system, which requires three, just like my bass boat. So how do you charge your Battleborn battery? So being out on the road, I'm constantly charging my batteries. Some of the things that I've learned just as kind of tips to you guys for charging your lithium batteries is, number one, use the biggest gauge uh, wire um, uh, extension cord that you possibly can. That'll ensure that you get a good flow of energy into your charger. And the good news is when it comes to chargers for lithium is most modern day chargers will facilitate charging of lithium batteries. But the biggest thing that I give you guys as far as a suggestion is to call Battleborn's technical specialist to make sure that your charger and your batteries are compatible. So how do you install your Battleborn batteries in your bass boat? 
you're in luck because Battleborn really didn't reinvent the wheel when it came to their batteries. They essentially took the same Group 27 or 31 platform and just upgraded it with lithium technology. And so they're just pretty much drop in. So if you already have a system, they're pretty easy to replace. But if you're like me, you wanna have a professional do it. So there's plenty of people out there that can help you professionally install your batteries into your boat. So what is the difference between series and parallel connections in your bass boat? So in my bass boat here, I've got a trolling motor system that is rigged in series. And what that means is even though there are three 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries connected together, because they're in series, they equal 36 volts, but they only equal 100 amp hours. So you only add the voltage in series, not the capacity, the amp hours. Conversely, those same three Battleborn batteries rigged in parallel will equal 300 amp hours, but only 12 volts. Can you run a trolling motor system off of a Battleborn lithium battery? And the answer is absolutely. Any trolling motor that you have, whether it's 12 volt, 24 volt, or 36 volt, will run off of a Battleborn lithium battery. And honestly, it's a superior power source for your trolling motor. Can you run lithium batteries for your electronic system? The answer is yes, you can do that. The only key here is to make sure it's an isolated system, a battery designated for your electronics, the pumps on your boat, and also the lights. So what specific features of Battleborn lithium batteries make them suitable choice for long fishing trips with trolling motors? So, to me, this answer has to do with the, the fact that your batteries are gonna last a lot longer. Battleborn lithiums just flat out last way longer than traditional lead acid or AGM batteries, and they have a more consistent power curve, which means that the end of a fishing day or even a couple days is gonna be the same amount of power that you, you experience with your trolling motor as you do when you first put that trolling motor in the water. So just overall, you can, you can actually Actually go out there and fish without having to worry about your power even for multiple days without charging. So how quickly will a lithium battery charge? So this is a great question because to me this is one of the biggest benefits that Battleborn lithium batteries give you is the fact that that no matter how hard you use it in a, a fishing day and I, I use my batteries hard, when I get back to the hotel or my campsite and I plug that in, I know in, in a much shorter period of time compared to like AGM and lead acid batteries, that battery system is going to charge. So lithium batteries are gonna have a much, much faster charge time. How can Battleborn lithium batteries ensure that you spend more time on the water and worrying less about the power on your trolling motor system? So uh, years ago, I was, I was really struggling with traditional lead acid batteries, man. I was going through different batteries all the time because I was living down in Florida, fishing these, these very grassy lakes. They're full, full of grass and you use your trolling motor to go through those grass flats, right? So that's using a lot of power and those traditional lead acid batteries just could not handle it. And what would happen is I'd have great power in the morning, but by the end of the day, the power drop off would be tremendous. But with Battleborn lithium batteries, you have a flat power curve, which means that even if you're, you're fighting a ton of current, a ton of wind, or you're growing through these large grass flats, you're still going to have the same type of power that you experience in the morning, in the afternoon.
All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching these frequently asked questions about Battleborn lithium batteries. Overall, they're a battery that I trust with my professional fishing career in my bass boat, and you should too. If you're interested in more information about Battleborn batteries, of course, visit battlebornbatteries.com. Also, I want to welcome you to join me on my social media channels, including my YouTube channel, Sonar Fishing. Other than that, I'll see you out on the water.